Tony Adams, sum up what you saw today and what was the biggest difference between these two sides overall, do you think? Well, it was a wonderful, wonderful first half display. The kids were phenomenal. Saka and the legs of Emil, Emil Smith Rowe on the left hand side, you know, up and back. They really took the game. I loved their shape. I loved Tommy. I thought his positioning today was excellent. And Tommy Yasu. Yeah. <laughs> Tommy, Tommy now. Oh, that's awesome. we, we call him Tommy now, you know. Tommy to his I mean, with the clan. <laughs> yeah, I thought they were exceptional all over the pitch and they started. And, they, and the game was over in the first half. But you liked them even before they scored today. I think just like the shape. I just like the shape. The two, two hold, you know, holding midfield players in there and, uh, you know, they, they, they won every header. Ben White was exceptional today, you know, completely imposed himself in the first 15, 20 minutes. I'm excited, guys. I'm excited, you know. <laughs> this has been... I've been saying for ages, you know, these guys need to, to hold these full-backs in. You know, and keep them here and defend and, and be hard to beat and let the Saka and Smith Rose get on with it. So I was absolutely delighted that uh, um, the kids took the game to, to, to Tottenham. Lily, I think at half time, you, like a lot of Spurs fans, were, were shell shocked. Yeah. Do you take any comfort from what you saw in the second half? Yeah, it was, it was a better second half performance. I think uh, Skip came on and, and Hill. Hill was very good when he came on, gave a bit of energy, enthusiasm, and even for the goal, it was a tackle, you know. Uh, 50-50 ball that he's, you know, wanted to get his foot on and uh, that's where the goals come from. So second half was something to build on. Before we see the action, Graham, were you surprised by just how dominant Arsenal were? Uh, I was surprised how good they looked, but I was even, it was a bigger surprise how poor Spurs were. Mm. And the shape of Spurs was all wrong. They had Dele Alli standing out right, out right, wide right, and Dombley emptying midfield at every opportunity. You had um, the Danish player Hoiberg playing amongst, he was holding hands with Dyer all the time. When you analyse it, it's no surprise that, that Arsenal dominated that first half. They get a skip on, Hoiberg goes and plays in midfield, and all of a sudden they look a different team. Uh, Arsenal would wish they could play against a team like Spurs were <laughs> in the first four or five minutes every week. I feel that like Spurs that were so poor, I mean, you talk about, tell me if they get, I'm similar, another generation, but not too far away. What was the last thing you were told going out the door? Mm. Start right? Absolutely. First, That's the last words you would yeah. hear. You they say, didn't though? do that. No, I was going to say that. I think we gave them too much respect at the start of the game. And, and the same, a similar thing happened last year, really. And it wasn't until the second half, last 20 minutes last year, where we started to put some pressure on. We saw their mistakes. We saw their vulnerabilities. And a similar thing today a little bit. But we, we have to start better. When you say that, when you, when you talk about giving too much respect, yeah. do, you, do you mean that they were standing off? Yeah, well, you know, there's... You, 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 you don't have to always press, but there has to be a certain point where you start engaging people and you get close to people and, uh, and you stop them playing. And we was kind of in between today. Yeah, we midfield never, was... to play in midfield. Mm. Yeah. Were well, you surprised you're... by that, which Graham's talking about, the position of Hoibjörg. Time and after time in that first half, we saw him next to Spurs centre-halves. Uh, well, I know that some teams like to, to build up that way. You know, I'm not sure what, what his instructions <laughs> were, but I know that some teams, they, they, you know, they pull a midfielder player back, they push their full-backs on, and they build up with, with three players at the back there. So, um, no, no, you know... But, but forgive me, yeah. forgive me. It, I accept that, that yeah, sometimes yeah. you see midfield players go and get the cheap off the back three, back four. When you're on the front foot and, you, you know, you're maybe dominating a game to get started, but when you're not dominating the ball... You have to get your midfield and against their midfield to stop them dominating you. And the first half was so one-sided, it was screaming at me from here because Spurs were defending this time where we were sitting. And Hoiberg, time and time again, could hold hands with his centre-backs when they were getting outnumbered and out-muscled in midfield. Go in there and join in the fight. I mean, all these tactics and formations and, and everything. You heard me talk about this time and time again, Dave. The best tactic you can have in your locker is be first to the ball. Spurs were not first to the ball once in that first 45 minutes. They spent the whole time on the back foot. And it's screaming at them what the to me anyway, screaming at me what they weren't doing. They weren't competitive in any shape or form. Was there more desire about Arsenal, do you think? I think so. I, I don't like picking individuals out because it could be, uh, you know... Big occasion, and the, but Deli Ali for me was 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 not at the races. The midfield, he, Graham's spot on here. You know, they didn't impress. They didn't. There was no urgency. First thing you do, you you've gone away at the Emirates. You're playing against the Arsenal. It's the it's the cup final. You know, you get in there. You get in there and around. First thing you do. First thing you do. Yeah. No, agreed. You know, 
set your stall out early, you win your first tackles, your first well, headers. What would you be in seeing if Heiberg had been playing in your team? Exactly, push in there. You, going you push in I mean, Join and, in a, a and the first goal comes from a second ball, it drops in the midfield, and we're empty in there. But that's and, what I'm and saying. that's where the first goal that's comes where you're from. Probably, you're totally outnumbered. Yeah. You didn't start right. You, I'm saying Spurs totally outnumbered. Didn't join in the fight. We're happy to play second fiddle, second to all the balls, and they spent the whole second half on the back foot. And it was so one-sided. I mean, it, you feared for Spurs at, at halftime.